Welcome back to the Park Hill South video blog. I'm Tyler, your host, and this is our 4th of July, I guess you could say, episode. So I'm going to cover canned craft beer. Now why? Well, first of all, because it's something we've gotten a little pushback on from our customers. Uh, not everyone, but a few. So I want to dispel any myths. Second, because what do most people do on 4th of July? We hang out at the pool, we hang out at the lake. Uh, places where glass isn't always a good idea or even allowed. So, I'm going to try and find you a good beer, full flavored beer, that comes in a can that you are able to take with you lightly and easily and uh, anywhere you want to go. So first of all, why a can? Kind of like the wine bottle screw top, millions of dollars of research has gone into cans in the past few years, canning of beer from the lining to the seal to everything. So you actually are not getting any inert flavors in canned beer really anymore like you used to. Second is these keep out 100% of light. Bottles do not do that, even the brown bottles. Clear bottles are horrible. Green bottles are almost as bad. And cans keep out about 30% more light or 100% uh, than brown bottles. So this is actually the freshest way to keep your beer. As long as you store it at room temp or cooler, hopefully, you're going to get the freshest beer possible. Now lastly, craft breweries, especially with all of them that have exploded in the past decade, they're startup companies. They don't have the huge operating capital that Anheuser-Busch or someone like that has. So what putting their beer in a can does is it cuts down 50, 60, 70 percent on weight cost and shipping cost. So it actually allows them to get you their beer at a cheaper price on the shelf and uh, distribute a little more easily without that huge operating capital of uh, shipping heavy glass bottles everywhere. So it's something you should actually appreciate rather than uh, kind of dispel. Now there are uh, all kinds of shapes and sizes coming out now. Coop F5, one of my favorite IPAs, comes in these 16 ounce cans. They also are making these more kind of eco-friendly uh, can toppers. And even if you don't like beer, they're putting things like uh, cider and tea, some of the sweeter beverages, the more easy drinking uh, carbonated beverages that still have alcohol in them in cans as well. So I really think you can easily find something you're going to enjoy. Come talk to us here at the store and we'll get you picked up, fixed up for the 4th of July. Thanks guys. Have a good holiday. Cheers.